right, in today's Manly Minute, five rules about socks to help you out. Yeah, it's one of those uh, little details that a lot of men don't really think much about or they think it's not important because, oh, my pants are covering up your sock. Yeah, but when you sit down, all we see is socks. Mm -hmm. Get your sock game on point, player. Let's do it. Five <laughs> rules, like basic rules about socks, all right? Number one thing, when you're wearing dress socks, always wear dress socks with dress shoes. If you've ever tried to wear gym socks or athletic socks with dress shoes, you'll see what happens. Your socks kind of start to bunch up on the bottom. It looks horrible. You always want to wear dress socks. The material is made, it's a much thinner material. That way you can slip it in easily when you're wearing those dress shoes that are usually a little bit tighter than other shoes are. So you have to be aware of what kind of socks that you're wearing. Always wear dress socks with your dress shoes, all right? Color match. Should the color match the shoe or should it match the pants? It should always match the pants. You're not matching the sock to your shoe. You match the sock to what's happening with the pants because when you sit down, folks are going to see the color from your pants into the sock. That's what you want to do. So make sure that the, the color match goes with the pants and not with your shoes. Number three. <laughs> I don't even have to talk about this. <laughs> you know. <laughs> this is just plain old wrong. Like this is, there's no way you can get away with this. I don't care who you are. So the first thing that you're doing, you're wearing sandals and socks. That's horrible. And then you added the short component to it as well. Everything about that is all wrong. Even if it might be comfortable for you. I understand that some days. That's not gonna, that's not gonna work for you, player. Drop that. Number four. <laughs> Novelty socks. Think about novelty socks, and they're all cool. But here's the rule on novelty socks. You see these two groups of feet? Those look like kids' feet, yeah. right? That's who wears novelty <laughs> socks. Grown men. I know you might think it's cool to have socks with basketballs or socks with shamrocks on it, but it's not cool for grown men to wear novelty socks. Novelty socks are only for kids. So if you have any of those, get rid of those. And then the last rule sometimes it may not be something that you can control, but you got to find a way to do this. No holes in your socks. Come on. <laughs> now, it's a standard rule that your mama taught you back when you were a kid. Don't you leave this house with dirty undergarments <laughs> or holes in your socks. Because say if you get in an accident, right? they got to take your shoes off. Now you got holes in your socks. You're embarrassed. Embarrassed and someone, the family name. And then the family, exactly. See? Everybody's embarrassed because you couldn't take the time to put on a good pair of socks. <laughs> and I understand sometimes a hole may actually happen during the course of the day when you're wearing those socks. Just make sure you don't wear them again or try to do like I used to do. I'd take the part that got the hole in the front, wrap it around underneath my foot. But then by the end of the day, it starts to slide back up. Next thing you know, here comes that toe. Out again. Five basic rules about socks, gentlemen. Uh, it's not that difficult, but it is detail oriented. To find out more, go to GoodDaySacramento.com. Click on Show Info for today's date and man up for getting your sock game on point. Also, coming up later on today, it's a huge weekend of sports. Every weekend's a huge weekend for sports. So, you know, we'll be talking about everything on Sports 1140 KHTK, a little show we do called The Lowdown. The Lowdown. The Lowdown. It is with me uh, and Damian Barling and Jason Ross. We call Jason Ross the unicorn because he's so, so nice and he's so rare. We'll check in with those guys a little bit later on today. Good stuff. Thank you, Ken. Thank you.